Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Nichi Joe episode number 12 reaction. Okay, the previous episode, um, me, uh, Yuko tries to become sick because she has a test and uh, she had already gotten uh, over a cold. That's why she wanted, she was like, oh, like if I was like sick for one or two more days, I could have skipped school. But then she's like, yeah, like, you know, you know what? Uh, let me try to study. She tries to study, nothing works, you know, her brain just goes on different directions, starts writing poems randomly. <laughs> and then she again decides to become sick, uh, goes like in ice cold, uh, like in a water, have a bath at night, um, like eat ice cream and stuff, like pull, put stuff, uh, AC on maximum, goes to sleep. And yeah, she doesn't get sick by the uh, morning, obviously because she barely just recovered from a cold. So the same, you know, like the same uh, sickness won't affect her because uh, the antibodies are there in her body. So yeah, she doesn't get like, you know, she didn't get uh, uh, any kind of uh, illness and she had to go to school to do the test. And, uh, and I love the whole conclusion of it where she goes to the school and she's like, she cannot do anything. The English paper, paper is like completely something different and <laughs> she tries to become like you know like kind of calm down and like you know like kind of focus and by doing that she runs out of time in the end and that was a great conclusion and a few other stuff we had as well and there was that section where the vice principal you know like uh had to eat like a mud ball from because it was made by his grand uh, son and also another section where uh, hakase like you know m makes super glue gets stuck and later on nano also gets stuck um <laughs> sakamoto also gets stuck all that stuff so yeah so that was the previous uh, week's episodes let's see what today brings and uh, yeah let us begin i'll be putting the subtitles in the time right here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go summer heat okay Uh, yeah, it is quite hot, isn't it? Is that his hair? <laughs> Yo, his hair. And his hair is black. It. It like it's it's he's more hot. Wow. Yeah. Not he's saying Natsu. <laughs> what? <laughs> he he told him not to say Atsui, which means hot, and he's like, oh, okay, then I'll say Natsui instead of Atsui. <laughs> I guess he did not say Atsui, so. All right. Oof. All right, we start with you, obviously. Huh? Really? <laughs> All right, she's in a quite a good mood. Ah, okay. Makes sense why she's so happy. Once in a blue moon, she did it. 
I guess. Oh my god, she forgot to bring it. <laughs> That's unfortunate. And no one will believe her if she says that I did not br forgot to bring it, but I did it. No one will believe her. <laughs> wow. New channel is like, no, I won't show you anymore. What? Oh, she cannot say, oh god. <laughs> Forgot. Um, I don't think that's... No, <laughs> she's not going to... Ah. Oh, oh no, maybe it's something else. Oh no, she's gonna get disappointed very soon. <laughs> oh boy. Wow! Why? <laughs> <laughs> Is she really going to bring it? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Wait. Oh, the teacher is already here. Wow. Yeah, you really. <laughs> what? What? What rotten luck. Idiom. Wow. Is this a backyard? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, there you go. There you go. Uh, where's Lano? Um, oh, there you go. Ah, there you go. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay. Nice. <laughs> she either doesn't do it or forgets. <laughs> oh. What? Is, is that a... Ew, it's that dog! We saw him camping, you know? <laughs> Who came and put his paw on the leg? Ah, she is again put... Ah! <laughs> Don't mind. <laughs> this is kind of <laughs> um. <laughs> so just keep it. Vending machine, all right. Oh, this is some. I thought for a moment I thought it was Yuko. It's someone else. It's Misato. <laughs> wow, shit, shit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> wow, that was hilarious. <laughs> she brought us the other one that he was pointing towards. <laughs> but don't sound that's the one he was recommending. Yeah! 
she's a video game character brings out guns from her imaginary pocket you know those like action video games where you bring up guns from i don't know where the hell but you have like a rocket launcher <laughs> all right okay limited ammunition then um yeah wait what uh, okay i guess we roll with that Brand name. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> no, she's trying to get the eggplant. Interesting. Oh my god, it's going to bounce back. It's going to bounce back. Yeah. Which is? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I don't think so. This guy. Um, <laughs> it's getting stuck. <laughs> ah, I have doubts in that. Okay. In the same place where the other one is, if she can aim, on top of... Oh! They... Oh my god, he pinned it! He pinned it! <laughs> or nailed it, sorry, that's a nail. Yeah, probably. He's sleeping. <laughs> Is he sleepwalking? Oh my god, he's sleepwalking. Um... No, I don't want that. What the hell? There's not even the full thing. <laughs> okay. I owe you. All right. Oh, I remember we, we used to have these little balls. These, yeah, these like jump quite high. These bounce very high, these things. We used to, also used to play with them. Wait. Oh, these are like Trump game? Some kind of a? Oh, it's the playing uh, Karuta. Oh my god, I feel like something's going to happen here now. Oh no, the whole. Okay. Ah. Uh... Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh 
Oh no, oh my god. <laughs> Wait, where is that a deer? Oh, that's a cardboard cutout. Hmm. All right. Does she even have money in her purse? I don't think she has any. Oh my god. She doesn't have any money. She, oh my god. Oh, she lost it. I thought she did. Oh god. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, the face. That the whole color of this show changed. <laughs> Specific. Oh, wait. Okay. How about the money? Oh. Wow. What? Uh <laughs> hmm. Well, she's not laughing. <laughs> Mew is laughing though. <laughs> Yo, her, her face. <laughs> 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 Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> well. Oh. What the hell? Where's the sound coming from? Oh, the, the, the one beside the. Okay. Daikuya. No, it's. Why name? You, they, they, the way they talk and the personality is so same. No, no, she's asking about the cake's name. No, wait. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh my God, what's happening here? <laughs> That was, that was interesting. Joystick stand. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. What's... Oh, they're making the okay the chopstick stand. Okay, that's interesting. Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh damn, that's. Yeah. What about her? She could not do it. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> All right, Haka says back. 
Oh my god. <laughs> it's quite inconvenient to have that, you know. <laughs> there you go. Like I said, it's very inconvenient. <laughs> Yeah, you just took off your key. Um. <laughs> um. Mm. This is going to end up in a disaster. I, I, I can see it. Oh, she's planning that. Okay. <laughs> that was her play. <laughs> she thought about it. Oh yeah, you're nano today, so you're not going to get any snacks. <laughs> yeah, you and you need to do all the housework, you know. That those are snacks. <laughs> That's good. These look like gears. Delicious hamburger. Daiku burger. Oh, oh this is also Daiku. Oh, that guy. <laughs> Okay. You just said start. Um, yeah. Hmm. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, that's okay, side. Okay. Just drinking it quite quickly. Okay. Hmm. Unintentional, all right. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> well. Yeah, all right. <laughs> hmm.
<clears throat> All right, here we go. Okay. Uh, uh. Who's this voice? Kogoro Satomi. Kogoro Satomi. All right, let's check out who is Kogoro Satomi. Kogoro Satomi. Hmm. <coughs> Wait, who? Wait, did I read the name wrong or something? Just a sec. Korogi. Oh, my God. My. Korogi Satomi. What the hell? What am I reading? <laughs> Korogi Satomi. All right, here we go. All right. Korogi Satomi. Let's see. Uh... Oh, Himawari in Shinchan. Oh, interesting. And a few others as well. Um, Frosh in fairy tale. Up uh, there you go. I I can yeah I can. I can hear that now. Yeah. And a few others that uh, Nina. Oh Nina, from Full Metal. Oh. Okay. And. Uh, yeah, these are the ones that I kind of know about. All right. So <clears throat> today's episode, um, <clears throat> we begin with. I don't remember his name. What's his name? The guy, the Afro guy. <laughs> we begin with him just talking about how hot it is, you know, like, and the other one was like, the mohawk guy, I, don't, I, I forgot their name. And the mohawk guy was like, oh, like, don't say hot so many times, you know, like, it, it's making me feel more hotter. And he's like, all right. And he just starts calling it blistering. The whole translation was, he told him not to say atsui, which means hot. While she just, he just kept saying that, but he just changed the word a little bit. He just said natsui. And that's why he, by the end of it, the mohawk guy was getting pissed off. He's like, oh my God, should I punch him? And <laughs> I can't imagine how hot it would be in that weather to have that huge of an afro. And <clears throat> he's, <clears throat> he has black hair. That means, you know, how black things kind of uh, like, you know, make people feel more hot. I think it's because of uh, uh, the scientific reason is like uh, black surfaces, they retain more heat, I think. Yeah, something like that. Like, <clears throat> just like how... <clears throat> I think this is because of some kind of uh, it has like a bigger refraction or something. I don't remember. It's been a while I've read, uh, you know, like that in physics. But it has like you know it has like I remember it has like a higher uh, heat retention um, capability or something like that. That's why it like you know <clears throat> that's why people say like wear lighter colored clothes when it's hot so that you don't feel hot. That type of a thing. <clears throat> And that's why you wear darker color clothes when it's cold. <coughs> it retains the heat. <coughs> Anyways, um, um, so yeah, that was the beginning. Then we start with Yuko being in a very good mood because she has actually done her homework. And <laughs> usually she never does it. So she's kind of feeling quite nice because she actually did it. And uh, there you go. She comes in and she sees that she has actually not brought it. And she is like, what am I, like, you know, what the hell, I, I <clears throat> finally did something, but now I, I forgot to bring it. And then she's like, you know what, let me just copy it again. And then she remembers it's on actually like a, a sheet, like a sheet of paper, the, uh, what, what was, what did he call it, she call it? It's on a, um, worksheet, worksheet, there you go, worksheet. And so she cannot, he cannot copy, she cannot copy it. <laughs> And the thing here is, like, even if she tells the teacher that, oh, like, I forgot to bring it, you know, like, I actually did it, but I forgot to bring it. The teacher will never believe her. Because she usually never, like, you know, does it. Like, like, I remember in my school, there was, like, a similar situation happened to one of my friends. And he actually did his homework. So when he went and 
told the teacher that oh you know what i actually did it but i forgot the teacher was like all right fine like you know like in the next like class that i come you show me the homework but that that doesn't happen to people who actually never does their homework you know <laughs> if they say something like that the teacher will be like ah you're lying like go out stand outside <laughs> And that's the same thing that happened here by the end of it. Obviously, Mio was like, you know, trying to help her out. Mio, at first, Mio was like, oh, maybe you have it like in your book or something. And she brings out one of the <clears throat> sheets that was poking out, and turns out it was a Daifuku Fair advertisement. <laughs> and again, she goes to, and then she says, like, oh, maybe at the teacher's podium you can get something. Goes there again, a Daifuku Fair <laughs> advertisement brochure. Uh, and she's like, nah, like, you know, I, I can't, I can't have this. I have to bring it back from my house. She tries to go out, and oh boy, the teacher has already arrived. <laughs> and like I said, the teacher by the end did not believe her uh, that uh, she has actually done it, but she has not brought it. So she had to stand outside. <laughs> that was the first part. Then we come with uh, like a you know, professor trying to get the the thing down, the sh shade down because it was kind of hot outside and uh, I think this is the first time actually s like I've seen their backyard before it, it doesn't look like this does it like yeah like wait a minute they live in a Jap Japanese style house I've seen their backyard before it's not like this looks like a western house I don't know where the uh, professor was but I don't think this is their house this is some someone else's house or something I have no idea Anyways, or uh, maybe I'm just wrong. Mm. She tries to like, you know, bring the shade down and there was a little model by the end of it, like slow and steady wins the race, you know. She tried, she kept trying to do it and by the end she was being, she was successful. And then we come back to Yuko again and okay, what was that? Yuko was outside, like you know, she's kind of uh, like, you know, sad that she had to stand outside even though she did the homework this time. And in comes a random dog. That dog who we saw in the camping episode just puts the hand or paw on her shoulder like it, it reminded me of like you know you're one of your close friends whenever something bad happens to you you're sad or something your friend comes in and puts their hand on your shoulder it's like don't mind everything will be fine from the next time there you go that dog probably did that he, he was trying to cheer her up <laughs> oh boy next twist <laughs> Next is the well the whole professor with the business card. I love how professor was so happy because she actually made like a business card and she gave it to the, to Sakamoto. It's, it's, she's like she's like laughing and smiling and Sakamoto's like, what am I supposed to do with this? Am I supposed to do something with this? Oh. All right, then we come with <laughs> the whole Misato section, and oh god, again like you know her Sundari personality. Um. <laughs> Sasagawa comes in and he he's like <laughs> Misato's like oh I'm just here you know like I want to check out some of the new products you know and he was like oh you should try he's pointing at something and Misato's you know her sundren has started uh, coming up and she's like I'm not going to choose what you say and she actually chose the one beside it and, so, <laughs> and he was like I was going to say, do not choose that. <laughs> choose the next one. <laughs> and Misato's like, what? <laughs> he goes away and it took a while for the Sundariness to hit. And when she realized, she, she brought out her gun and started shooting him. Like I was saying, she's like a video game character, you know, like her guns appear from nowhere. Like it's like a pocket, like in like a dimension or something she has where she pulls out the gun from you know like the like nowadays video games are quite realistic and you know like you have like a backpack to keep your gun in or like you know your guns are just in in, in the inner back side or something when we used, like when i used to play video games when i was a kid and when i used to play video games like very uh, old video games you know max Payne one project igi if you guys have played them um those games the guns used to come out from the thin air, you know, like you have like nine to ten guns and <laughs> no one knew where you kept them. <laughs> so that's why like, she's like a, one of those video game characters. She brings out guns from like, <laughs> like nowhere. <laughs> oh, Lord. And then, OK, then we come 
to that section with the shooting uh like you know like the the prize section where the like there's like a in in a festival i'm guessing <sighs> that girl i for, i always forget her name the one with the bunny ribbon thing um she comes in to like a shooting um sh- uh, gal- like shooting thing and uh, shoot the thing get the prize that type of a situation and obviously like what we see usually in these type of situations is the you know like the the very um prizey uh, or costly prizes they usually have like something done to them you know they either like you know put like some kind of a glue to them or something so that they don't fall down and the other ones which are like you know normal stuff like maybe like a a a, a small little toy or like a, like a like a candy box or something like that those are normal those are kept normal so that people could actually get them this guy however put i'm i'm guessing he probably put glue or nails to everything and she he had like two varieties only like eggplant and like some caramel candy or whatever and <laughs> he's so happy at the beginning he's like ha 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 here you go oh wait at the beginning one thing was i was like what the hell does he say when he when the girl asks like how much cost is it says just a sec he says something like <clears throat> okay she's like i only have 500 yen i wonder if it's enough he says just one no just how much is that 5 million oh my god this 5 million yen per shot what the hell is up <laughs> this guy is just in a very funny mood you know he's just cracking jokes from the beginning <laughs> And the girl is like, "All right, I have five hundred yen. There you go." And he just takes it. <laughs> I wonder if someone actually gave him five million yen. Would he actually take it? Probably. <laughs> uh, now, she's like, "What the hell are these prizes? Like caramel drops and eggplants?" <laughs> the guy's like, "Ah, branded stuff, you know." <laughs> She shoots the eggplant. Nothing happens. It just gets stuck. and he's just having the time of his day he's like ha 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 these are some you know like try something which is uh, easier to reach you know and she tries the caramel drops then and yeah it doesn't fall probably glued he's just in one of the best moods he's like ah you're you're a tough contender aren't you <laughs> you know what you're doing <laughs> and then she shoots the explant again and nothing happens it's just stuck there and the final shot no not the final one but the one before that the penultimate shot <laughs> the eggplant just go just tears into two and there's a nail sticking out <laughs> he nailed the thing my god and oh boy the shopkeeper is not happy he just just is quiet now and, <laughs> and he gets up and like like he pretend pretends he's asleep then he gets up goes to the eggplant brings out the smaller portion the smaller one the smaller part gives it to her and she's like he's like don't come back ever again <laughs> uh, i guess he did expose his business um you know like uh his business trick or whatever you call it <laughs> so yeah she does not allowed anymore and then the section with the super ball well where yuko plays with the super ball and like i said like you know we, we also used to have these things these were like little balls I don't know what they were made of but they used to bounce so high that it was crazy. Like she was doing she was throwing it down, you know, from like a the second story and it's coming up. It, it, it is kind of like that. Like and it used to bounce very high. And we used to also play with them. It's kind of nice. And uh, yeah, and then the next part was the whole thing with Karuta. And I think that's called Karuta, isn't it? Yeah. Like I always mix up Karuta Han and Hanafuda. I don't know why. and karata harufada and koi koi i think uh, i think this is karuta most probably yeah you know where you, you kind of throw the uh, cards down and you try to actually op- or like you not know, turn the other cards in in the which is on the ground and um, you go does it it doesn't happen uh, when mai does it wait in the end was she successful in overturning it 
let me check that part again she shoots it down and uh, yeah i think she was able to do it by the end <laughs> at first it kind of got stuck like this and then it fell down <laughs> wait a minute is that um the the picture on the karuta Is that um, Kamen Rider? I think so, isn't it? Yeah. Ah. That's Kamen Rider, isn't it? On the on the picture, I think so. I might be wrong though. But anyways. Mm. So the next part we. Oh my God, this part was funny. <laughs> they go to the amusement park, Yuko and Mio. And they're having like a great time and uh, Mio uh, had uh, Yuko's purse with her and you know what at first I thought I thought at first that Mio probably uh, uh, Yuko probably did not bring any money like you know he probably she probably brought like like an empty purse or it had like a few coins in it and that would be the whole joke of this whole thing but turns out it was a little bit different she did bring the uh, uh, purse and she did have money in it 4016 or something like that she said and Mio actually dropped it. So <laughs> I love how when she says like, uh, oh, I dropped it. She just, her face just goes like that. And <laughs> the whole color of this, like, you know, section just goes out. It becomes like, like, a, like, 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 a, like a, not black and white, I would say, but like a reddish uh, color scheme. You know, like uh, the older days, the way we used to have them. Uh, the movies and everything and they go to the lost and found section uh, okay she says like it's a brown wallet with a snake skin inside so she gets it the color comes back to the world she's like oh my god thank god opens it and the snake skin is there and there's like a like some kind of a something like a some kind of an advertisement or something i don't know some kind of a flyer anyways and yeah the money is not there so <laughs> what happened so either she did not put did not put money in it or someone took the money and like you know brought only the uh, uh wallet to the no lost and found section and there you go the color again goes away and her face becomes like that and i this part was i don't know why it it's probably like you know made me laugh quite a lot because of the crazy situation she was just sitting there with that face and she was like you know in, in that little ride she was in the haunted house and everything and her she had the same face she was in the roller coaster with the same face <laughs> and that's how it went on yeah and then we get the whole to the section with Sakurai and the uh, the Daiku store um, employee. It's interesting. So basically, that guy that we, the guy who's in the Go Soccer Club, you know, he's like I mean, he's he's part of the Daiku family, I'm guessing. So like basically, like everything, like everywhere we we seeing like you know like everything's like Daiku, like every place is like some kind of a Daiku thing. Like, this is also like you know the, like uh, I'm guessing like a desert shop owned by the daiku and yeah like damn that guy that <laughs> that guy's family is rich <laughs> obviously the person who brings a helicopter to school like <laughs> obviously they'll be rich and okay this section was kind of funny where um sakurai tries to you know order something and she's not understanding what the shopkeeper is telling her and the shopkeeper is like Oh, tell me the name, you know, and she's like, oh, my name, my name is Sakura. And she's like, no, not, not that name, the product name. And she's like, product name, what does that mean? And she's like, no, I, I mean, and <laughs> that both the, both the shopkeeper and her personalities are so same that, you know, both of them were kind of sweating little by little and they were kind of as politely as possible trying to explain it. And none of them were making sense to each other. <laughs> oh God. And the next part, the whole thing with the chopstick stand, 
my Mio both made two beautiful looking chopstick stands and <laughs> Yuko at first I was like okay Yuko probably wasn't able to make it but then we zoom in into the table and we see she had made a beautiful origami tray and yeah but she wasn't able to make a chopstick stand so I guess she failed <laughs> And the next part, this part was kind of interesting where Hakase makes like a key and she's like, oh, I will be Nano today. And I love the fact how she realizes that the key is actually really annoying to have. She's like, you know, bumping here, bumping there, cannot you know, lay down. So she just takes it out and keeps it <laughs> to the side. Oh, I thought that it, like, you know, Nano would comment something, say something like, you see, how annoying this is, you know, like, can you take my key out? But she said nothing over there. She does do something after that, which was kind of funny. <laughs> and like, you know, like she put the, the key out, outside and Nano's like, what are you doing? Why did you keep it away? And she's like, I'm just taking a little uh, break, you know, like, leave me alone. <laughs> and uh, here, Nano plays a trick. Nano's like, okay, professor, like, let's play a game. You will be uh, Nano today, and I will be professor. And uh, so you put the key on your back, and since I'm professor today, can you please <laughs> take out my key? That was a good trick that she did. Like, you know, if Akase actually took the key out, it would have, she would have been successful. But, <laughs> but uh, Akase was like, not gonna happen. And yeah, and I was thinking that she was going to do something like that, where what she where she does, what she does is she's like, oh, since you're Nano today, you won't be getting any snacks. I'll be eating all the snacks. She takes the snacks and starts eating it, and <laughs> Hakasa was extremely pissed. She's like, she's like, I don't understand. I'll be you, but if you're me, you'll eat my snacks. So just be you. Starts eating it. <laughs> and Nano's like, oh my god, like, she's like, fine, do whatever you want. Let me go to the grocery to do some shopping. <laughs> Nano's like, I'm going to go to uh, Hakase. And yeah, that was funny. You know, like, I guess she ends up accompanying them, her. And Sakamoto's like, oh, don't forget my dinner. Because you remember, the, she did forget once. <laughs> she did forget Sakamoto's dinner once and she just brought some ice, no, shaved ice and that's all Sakamoto had for dinner. <laughs> so this time Sakamoto's like, nope, I ain't having that, I'm on my food. The next part is the, again, Daiku Burger. The next part is the killing time section where <laughs> Yuko and Mio, like, they're like, oh, let's play a game, we can't say any English word. And Mio's like, okay. And Yuko's like, haha, you said some English word. And she's like, no, after we say start, then we're going to start. Like, that's like this random conversation. And here you go, again, Daiku Burger. So, like, each and everything is, like, owned by Daiku here. Like, what? <laughs> they, they bring, they make burgers. They even have, like, desserts and all. And uh, uh, then there was the next section with the cider. Where Hakase just drinks some cider to make her feel awake. And then the next section is where Yuko was sleeping on, on the desk and when she wakes up, Mai was, Mio was like, oh, it looks like Sleeping Beauty woke up without a kiss. <laughs> and Yuko's like, like, like how? <laughs> My, Mio is blushing then. And so that's why it's called in, unintentional. So yeah. So basically, I think Yuko was like very much in, in, like, you know, like she woke up just at that moment. So she wasn't able to figure out what was happening, so she was like, why? <laughs> and yeah, that's how it ended. So there you go, another funny episode. And uh... <laughs> yeah, so that's it guys. So thanks for watching. This was my reaction to uh, episode number 12 of Nichijo. We are at the middle, like, you know, almost at the middle of the uh, episodes. Like, I think there's 26 episodes of the season. So yeah, 
So uh, yeah, it's been it's been amazing. I'm loving this show. So thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next week with another episode of Nichijou. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.